Hello there and welcome to Sacred Symposium. My name is Karen Tinney. My website is uh, www.karentinney.co.uk. You can also email me karen at karentinney.co.uk. This is the space on YouTube where I do channelings, uh, spiritual connections and speaking for spirit in a sense. I have grounded and opened up my energy and I am ready to deliver a message of some kind. Uh, whatever wants to come through, um, I'm happy to deliver that and to see how it is received and how the message is um, important for this time, whatever is occurring. So I'm hoping that it will be relevant to you. I'm hoping that it will bring some clarification on something for you. I have no idea what's going to be said. I have a feeling I know what energies um, are here and are going to speak. I'm just showing you that because <clears throat> when the energy comes in strong, it can make you tired, it can make you yawn, it can make you cold. So I feel quite cold. <clears throat> can make you hot. Um, you can be clearing your throat. So I have my uh, little blue crystal. You've probably seen me with that before for my throat to try and maintain that open expression. Um, and they can make your tummy gurgle and they can make you sneeze. They can make your eyes water. So sometimes my eyes just fill up with water just with the feeling of it just changes the feeling. Um, you really get a sense, a sensation. You really are experiencing something different, which is sometimes so powerful and so full of love that tears just come, not because you're sad, not because you're happy. They're literally, your eyes just water in that presence. It's a very interesting thing. Sometimes it's good to just to kind of talk a little, sort of introduce a little, Ooh, kind of doing that as well. So there's energy coming, coming in. It's making me shuffle around a little because that's how it is. Some people have quite dramatic connections um, where their body can do different things and their their head can do different things, and they can sort of shake into a position. Um, that's not happened to me yet. I pretty much go on, it's a bit like mental mediumship where you see stuff, you hear stuff, you feel stuff, you sense stuff. Um, <clears throat> and it's kind of that that I go on. So I'm just going to take two minutes now and two seconds really and pause and then just get myself ready so I can be ready for you. <clears throat> So I think we are recording again. Fabulous. Just trying to <coughs> clear this throat and get myself ready. <clears throat> and I'm just going to settle into this space and I'll start hearing words and then I just speak the words and I see how long this goes on. And then that will be today's message. So it's Tuesday the 11th of March 2023, Sacred Symposium. We'll see what message wants to come forward. I'm not sure how to have my hair. <clears throat> A lot of throat clearing going on here. Greetings, we are with you, we never leave you, we are simply standing back waiting for the time when we are called to present to the audience and called forward. You might believe that we are far away and we are not. You might believe that we have no idea what you are doing or where you are on your earthly plane, but we do. We are 
available to you because we have chosen to work with you during this life cycle. Our work, yours and ours, is important work and is through its activation changing the nature of society. This one feels, and we are greeting you directly now, welcome to Sacred Symposium. This one feels often that uh, there are many channels now available, many people channeling entities, beings, who come from all realms, all places. And so there is a great gathering, a great downloading of information from the other places. And although this is becoming quite routine, quite regular, there is a need to use discernment as to what you listen to and what you feel drawn to and how much emphasis you put on the words of another. We always feel it is important to ask you to maintain integrity within your being, within your connection to other beings and as such for your channel, for your understanding of what comes to you to be crystal clear so there is no doubt that you are receiving a clear channel. You are receiving information which is beneficial. There are many people dispensing many kinds of information from all walks of life and all positions in life too. And so as you dip yourself into the world, particularly of listening to channeling as you are doing now in Sacred Symposium, <coughs> and possibly working with this one, because she is available to work with groups on the planet to bring the sides together. That is part of her remit and she is stepping up to take that position and we applaud her for such advancement and such courage in taking on this role. It is not a role for everyone and yet it is a role she thrills in. And she does very well. We would say she does exceptionally well. And that is why she has such a following, you might say, on this side of the veil. But what we are saying to you is with more and more people coming online, coming on board, deciding to venture towards channeling, having their vibration activated to such a degree that suddenly channeling becomes something that approaches them in their life. <clears throat> there will be many different stories to tell and many different possibilities to be shown and it is up to you to discern what you find value in. So there is a horse for every course, is that the saying? So there is a place for every one. There is something that you will resonate with where someone else will not and that is why there are so many. But if you look at the truth of these communications. The understanding at the core of each of the communications is that you are loved, that you are known and you are cared for, and that should you wish to advance yourself through your own spiritual nature, your own spiritual ability, then now is the time. Now is the absolute perfect time to embrace this side of yourself because with the changes that are occurring on the earth, with the allowing of us to integrate with you in such a fashion, there is uh, an easy accessibility to this kind of experience, information, activity. And we anticipate that this will run further and further along uh, as the years progress. And so, this will be part of your education, part of your insight, your intuitive uh, understanding, and it will allow you to pull more and more from these other realms, the information that you need to gather your thoughts, to gather your motion, to gather your actions and step forward um, to your fulfillment, to what, what you require, um, to what needs doing in your life in order to 
experience the life that you chose to experience and in order to bring to others the best possible experience of you in your living state. So from that aspect, you might say that, you know, being who you are is and developing into your fullness is, is very important. But also others will experience you as you change, as you transition, as you become your highest aspect of you. And so you are bringing to them a great deal in this uh, metamorphosis, we would say. And so as you become higher and raise your vibration, and become more spiritual, that not only engages every aspect of your hopes, wishes and dreams, possibilities, <clears throat> And the foundations that you can actually uh, move forward to develop and to reign in these areas but also it has an effect on others and it is like the the pool the circles the uh, what do you call them the rings that go further out and out as the pebble is dropped in a water and um, the vibration carries a wave out and out and out further so you affect others with your changing nature with everything that you ingest so say you go to university and you take on a subject and you learn about that subject and the person you met five years ago hasn't seen you since and you turn up and you happen to bump into them in a place that is familiar and you have gained all this knowledge and gain this understanding and here you are with them and you're not the same you have some similar aspects and memories of who you were five years ago but so much has changed and so much has happened that your vibration your being is a very different being and so you bring to the table something completely different so in a way that person is meeting someone completely new and if you can for a moment suspend your th thinking and understand that that person five years ago that you met had a level of experience and since your separation you have not come together to uh, converse or share or disclose anything of what has been happening and yet you meet again five years later <clears throat> and you look upon this person and and they too are different. Yes, they have the essence of that being that you knew, but they have changed, they have lived, they have had experiences. It is a bit like parent and childhood. Once uh, a being becomes a parent, their life is changed irrevocably. There is a massive, gigantic leap of transformation that occurs an adjustment and constant adjustment throughout the life of raising the young and so that person is in a state of learning and fast learning and changing and adapting and so there are essence of them when they were young but they are so much more now they are mature they are grown they are solid they have been through so many experiences where they were pushed to their limits and they have found ways and solutions to survive they have found ways and solutions <laughs> excuse us pressuring this one they have found ways to engage in life and to deal with all that they have been presented with in all its nastiness and uh, drama as well as its trivialities as a parent you will understand that you are torn from one level to the next the spectrum is wide the spectrum is not just set at 10 degrees it is 360 and so there's so much to learn and so much to embody and so when that parent meets a past friend or foe there is this understanding of growth within that being real substantial growth and so we say to you now, as you choose to develop, as you choose to open yourself up to the possibilities of what lies ahead for you, with this streaming in, mm, 
incoming energy. So much for you will need adaptation. So much of you will need to encompass this new flow. There is a great deal of energy flowing onto the planet and changing everything. And you might see this as galactic or angelic energy or cosmic energy. It is greatly influenced by planetary systems and planetary positions. But it is also greatly influenced by light, by the ascension codes, by the light streaming in, in its signs and its symbols, it dropping into your energy, into your atmosphere, and then into your field, into your own auric space. So these changes are occurring to each and every one of you. And as you become interested in areas like these, like the spiritually bound or the, uh, what shall we say, the integrative cosmic alignment, then you will see that there is much to learn and much to ground within you, much to hold within you, much to um, draw into your system and into your understanding. And it will take a level of understanding and adaptability, as we have said. <clears throat> so to further this, we would suggest that there will be a connection to many mediums, many uh, channelers, many people who are able to traverse the other realms with ease. And so to seek out the correct teachers is um, something we encourage, but we don't want to tell you who to go and see or what to take on or what to believe. We want you to understand that as you progress in your absorption of these energy vibrations, that you will understand what you need, that you will understand what you are drawn to and the things that you're drawn to will be specific to your evolution. But it is also important to question this. It is also important to use your gut instinct to perhaps be cynical now and again. This one can be very cynical. <clears throat> this one can see through and understand the outcome before it has happened. This one can watch a play unfold, knowing that what is occurring is how shall we say it in a polite manner? Is full of untruths, is full of shadow, is full of misalignment. And so to understand the effect of that, but also the senses of that, that how it feels to recognize that, that is your code, that is your uh, navigation tool. And so that will help you navigate and that will help you understand the nature of what is presented to you. And so there is an element of everyone jumping on board for different reasons, for different things. And we see it regularly in your um, social media. And we see that it occurs because many people enjoy being negative and enjoy slandering and enjoy drawing someone down. And often in that protestation, often in that um, objectification, often in that surmising, it has shut down all of the aspects which need to be integrated. That is not to say that everything is innocent, but it is to say that, as this one has witnessed, many get themselves into situations where they tell tales and tell stories and they're not doing it out of negativity and 
perhaps they are unaware of their deceit. But this deceit can be felt and, and held and understood from a distance. And so once your radar is working, you can see it and perhaps it is not your time to interfere. You do not need to jump on the bandwagon like the comments on uh, many social medias. You do not need to jump in and, and uh, vomit all over the, the system. But sometimes simply to observe and to see it unfold gives you the hindsight before it has occurred, gives you that heads up, gives you that acknowledgement of your senses, your intuition, your receivership. And therefore, you become aware of what is feeling good and what is feeling off. And this comes through trial and error. But many of you will know situations where you felt you could not trust someone. You felt you were being deceived. You felt someone was taking advantage. You felt there was a manipulative feeling about a situation. You felt that someone was wronging you. And that's the senses. That is your ability to know and so we would say as it moves forward and as many come forward with great levels of interaction with the higher realms, the angelic realms, the galactic realms, the cosmic vibrational aspects, as all this comes through, because it's coming, be discerning, choose wisely, don't Put all your eggs in one basket. Don't become dov devotional, is the word we are looking for. You are here to witness others. You are here to receive guidance. But each and every one of you are here to build your own reservoir of spiritual education. You are here to learn and grow. You're here to evolve and expand. And you are here to be your own connection, your own truth. You have everything that these beings have. You can join in. You do not need to follow. What you might choose to do is go through some teaching. Learn a few skills. Feel yourself advancing. Take an interest in one of these beings who presents themselves, perhaps like this one. If it resonates, if it feels good, if you feel the truth of what this one brings, if you feel the truth of the connection, if you understand and believe what is coming through her, right now, do you believe it? Do you believe that this isn't just her mind? Do you believe that we have a place within her that we are using, that we are using this template of this body, this template of this being to stand here, to greet you, to come through solidly and strongly with determination in order? Hmm. To direct the appropriate words that will bring the validation where you will have no doubt that you are in the presence of more than this physical being. You are in the presence of many from light worlds. This presence is a powerful one. It is a great one. But what we want you to understand is it is not a million miles away. You have been blindfolded. You have been kept from the truth and distracted by life. You have been so manipulated by your world and the trivialities 
you have been frightened to a level where you cannot fathom your energetic existence. You are so attached to your physical existence that it leaves you bereft at the thought of any damage to it. But damage can be healed. And your energetic being is forever repairing, is forever evolving and upgrading and is bringing you blessings if you could only notice that that activity is available for you to receive and enjoy. So until you find your compass, until you find your direction, until you too are able to sit and commune with the other worlds, and many of you have begun, many of you have achieved a great deal. But be careful of who you follow and what they require of you. Go where you feel the resonance. But you don't have to stay with the same doctor forever. You don't have to stay with the same hairdresser forever. You don't have to stay buying from the same shop, the one and only shop, the one and only brand. This one finds one that is matching her in style and comfort. But yet she is able to look at other brands, able to look at other shops, able to try something different now and again. Maybe it didn't work. But that too is how you learn. You taste something, it tastes bad, you spit it out. You taste something, it tastes good. You want more. But maintain a balance. Do not become addicted. The voice of reason must come in. Be your own guru, they say. And that is great. If you know how. More and more you will be waking up to your spiritual nature. And you will have to get comfortable with that. You will have to be able, through your intellect for many, it comes first, their understanding of the world and the situations and the power and the control and the hypocrisy that has laid there before your eyes for so long. But now, there is unrest. Now there is war and fighting and famine. There is a destruction of humanity. And as the tower collapses and everything is destroyed, it leaves room for rebuilding. It leaves room for evolution. It leaves room for engagement and new processes, new ways. And these won't be things that you will have to fight to uh, join with. They will be presented to you. All things will come to you. So the majesty of the spiritual journey is walking that pathway, embracing your own truth, 
which allows you to embrace the great truth. And that great truth is coming through. And that great truth will be shared with you by many. It is acceptable to ask questions. It is acceptable to have concerns. It is acceptable to misunderstand. It's how anyone learns. So embrace the change that's coming. Embrace the information that is available to you like here on Sacred Symposium. It is available to you freely. If it resonates, let this one know. We have asked her to take part in this series. And we know we are reaching you. It is our wish to engage fully with you in order to help you along this path. Many will be joining this one. Many will be joining in her various classes, you might call them programs, gatherings. We wish to change the atmosphere around you all. We wish for you to feel us, physically feel us, know us, know your guides, know your teams, experience. Once you have these experiences, you will not question your own integrity, your own intuition, your own we want to say satellite dish, it is as if you are drawing in the transmission as you open up this communication as you receive the signals your system, your body, your physical, your mental, emotional, spiritual It will evolve. And so you will need to ground, you will need to understand the basics. You'll need to have ways. As the world goes through this as well, it is not just you on your own. It is everyone around you. You came from the heavens. The heavens, you will be returned to them. That's where you came from. We admit that many of you feel you began at zero and that was it, but you have lived before and had existences. But in this existence, you are becoming aware. And we congratulate you on this because this is an incredible time, a historic time. And we are pleased to be here alongside you during this transition. We are pleased to be able to bring you as much as we can to assist you. And we will now take our leave. This one is conscious of time. But we hope we have helped in some way for you to understand the focus should be you. The focus is on your development. Use what you can. 
from others that resonate with your story, your plan, your path. This is a beautiful unfolding. And you, my dears, are ready for the journey. Thank you, we are pleased with that. We would like to say we are Elijah. And with that, we will step aside. Thank you. Hmm. Okay, not too long, 36. Uh, so I hope that helped. Uh, I think it's it seemed to be quite pertinent for the times. Um, but yeah, let me know, leave a comment. Uh, it's just a little channel just to see if guidance comes through. Um, so take what you can from it and leave the rest. Um, but by all means, listen to these things again and again because they're here to help you. Um, evolution of our consciousness you can see it from experiments you can see it the scientists are talking about it you can see it everywhere now people are aware we're conscious beings we're moving into this consciousness this reality this higher consciousness again and we can go up level after level after level science is picking up on the basic stuff I would say that many channels are way ahead and they're dealing with stuff that science hasn't even touched on yet and you know this idea that science can now prove that you know what is it the brain and the cosmic consciousness are linked and i go like duh of course we know this for a very long time check out the mediums from years and years ago centuries ago check out the channelers check out the people who were doing this work It has to be part of your life now. It has to be part of your life. You can't ignore it. You can live everything else in your life. You can go out to dinner. You can have a drink of wine. You can do the washing. You can go to your job. You can drive your car. You can catch your plane. You can do all those things. But you're also a spiritual being, being bringing that with you. You're a spiritual being living on the planet. You're connected to everything. Don't doubt it. It's your gift. It's time to realize that now. Before, I think all of that was handed to, you know, the priests or the religious people. They were our go-between. You know, you couldn't talk to God. They would talk to God. I think the realization now is that you can talk to the higher realms. Oh, getting chills now again. They're going, save that for later. I think that's the next channel, maybe. They're pulling back now. So I think they kind of want to come in and they'll happy to go again. <coughs> but it's like, no, maybe just finish it now. So we are almost on 40 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. If you stayed this far, you've done really, really well. May you be blessed a thousand times and may you enjoy your week. Uh, I never know if I'm going to do another one. Um, they did say it was a series, but you know, who knows what's going to happen next week. But from me to you today, bless you, enjoy this, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you again soon.